Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here, of course, the Diamond K Show. Make sure you check me out on social media at the Diamond K Show. Uh, sad story to report here. I mean, yeah, we've been seeing a lot of these instances where a person is attacking themselves, family, uh, all this done in front of the children. Uh, but this story, like I said, sad. This Louisiana pastor shoots his wife in front of their three children before turning the gun on himself. So uh, this guy, the uh, police have uh, released the charges for this pastor. Did I say he was a pastor? Accused of shooting his wife and then himself. So uh, this uh, gentleman, Danny Purnell Jr., had a history of domestic violence against his wife. All right. So we're talking about somebody who is a coward. Coward. 25 years old. The pastor of Bright Morning Star Baptist Church in Pineville. Police believe that he shot his wife and then himself last week. Now, I, I just, you know, if you don't want to be with the lady anymore, if that is your goal, then do that. Th th don't be with her anymore. This is the, the scene of this heinous act. Purnell faces one count of aggravated domestic violence, disturbing a business and disorderly conduct. They would not disclose why he is not facing attempted murder charges. Officers responded to the Hampton Inn in Macomb on June 21st, where Purnell had shot his wife, then himself, while their children were present. Both were taken to the University of Mississippi Medical Center for treatment. And according to the police chief, Purnell's wife is in stable condition. Purnell also survived his injuries and is in the custody of the Pike County Sheriff's Office. You can see that two strips of police tape blocked the hallway on the first floor of the Hampton Inn and Suites in Macomb. So after this shooting was reported in the building uh, about 4 p.m. on Wednesday last week, on the floor behind the police tape, there are towels and a pillow and what looks like blood, all that visible in uh, in this, you know, sad story here. So what would cause this guy to do this? What would cause this guy to do this? Now, the Purnell's children were put in the custody of Mississippi's Department of Child Protective Services. Court records indicate that Purnell had a history of domestic violence against his wife. And this guy is in church, the bright morning star Baptist church, trying to tell other people how to get closer to God and how to live their life. We have to be very mindful of the people who we are following. In 2016, his wife filed a petition for protection from abuse. This was against Prenell. In that petition, she detailed instances where Prenell was violent with her, saying, I've been constantly getting beaten by my husband and I fear for my life and of my unborn child. She goes on to say that Prenell often pointed guns and threatened to kill her. This is the pastor? Are you kidding me? Before becoming a pastor at Bright Morning Star Baptist Church, Prenell was a deputy with the Rap uh, Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office starting in June 2022 until his resignation in December of that year. So uh, he was, according to um, 
the sheriff's office, Prenell was assigned to corrections division. Uh, and the uh, investigation of this shooting remains ongoing. Uh, so far, a hearing date has not been set for the charges that Prenell is currently facing. Just, I mean, just all kind of violence, all kinds of bad decision making, all kinds of stuff. And I don't think that anybody is, uh, uh, you know, confused about the fact that this guy was wrong, wrong for beating his wife, wrong for shooting his wife, and uh, doubly wrong for doing this in front of it with the children present. But of course, I'm sure he's going to have all kind of excuses why, all, all kind of reasons why. He's going to probably be sorry and crying, crying and and uh, talking about God and, and uh, people need to give him another chance and all of that kind of a uh, hoopla that hopefully nobody is buying. Hopefully nobody's buying. 